Are you kind of getting the picture? Because what I'm teaching you covers all ranges of physical problems, not just depression. You, in fact, make your health from within. And you make your disease from within. So don't be overtaken by a disorder or a disease like some th strange thing happened to you. It is the product of something else. I learned something from Deuteronomy 28 that is that when I read verse 1 through 14, it says, it should come to pass, if you hear what God said and you'll do what he said, then all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. When I went down through those 14 verses, there was not one disease listed. So I came to a conclusion that not to have a disease was a blessing. And that to have a disorder or a disease was not a blessing. And so that's where I still am in the conclusion. Now, the reason for the disorder or disease is interesting. I want to take you on a few case histories quickly and show you a few things, if I may. The beginning of our problem began with Adam and Eve. The Bible says through one man's disobedience, Sin entered into the world and death by sin. Through one man's disobedience. If you look down, and I don't have time to develop all this, nor do I want to, but if you look down through the Adam and Eve story in Genesis 3, verses 1 through 13, you find that Adam and Eve disobeyed, well, God's word. Uh, Eve did, and then Adam did nothing to cover his wife. He agreed with her, and that opened the door. And uh, I love the story because it shows us this invisible kingdom that uh, when, well, let's just read down through here because I think you'll identify with this um, perhaps. Um, you know that the serpent had uh, uh, begun to speak to Eve and question God's word, begin to add, take away from the word of God. And... Uh, and uh, the, the serpent said, if you eat of this fruit and disobey God's word, you shall not die. And that's right in verse 4. And it says, for God knows that in the day that you, you eat of this fruit, your eyes shall be opened and you shall, and you shall be as gods. Actually, in the Hebrew, it's as devils, knowing good and evil. And so what happened is that Adam and Eve, who were immune to what evil was, there, there was a barrier to their spirit. And when they disobeyed God's word, they actually embraced the word of the enemy. And that enemy's word became their truth. And God's word became a lie, and they followed a lie, and not the truth. And uh, as you go down through here into verse 7, and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. Well, they were naked before they saw they were naked. So, but now what that means is that their nakedness, it was a shame to them. Adam and Eve were about to go into a depressed state. Classic case of depression. They didn't know what was going on, but the first thing that came was shame. Then in verse 8, uh, when they heard the voice of the Lord, they went into fear and guilt. And then verse 9 through 13, we have fear and accusation. And, uh, and both Adam and Eve were filled with now with accusation. So you had fear, guilt, and shame. And what happened, in, if you look at this story, when they heard the voice of the Lord, because the Lord would come and walk with them in the cool of the evening in the Garden of Eden, as was his custom. And he came after their eyes were opened and they saw they were naked and they went and made the first bikinis and then they went and hid. Because they had fear, guilt, and shame. And the Lord came looking for them and they weren't there in the pathway for the evening walk. 
And the Lord began to call out for them, wanting to know where, it's Adam, where are you? Finally, Adam had enough courage, I guess. When the Lord said, Adam, where are you? Here I am, Lord. Uh, where, where are you, Adam? Out here in the bushes, Lord. And why are you out here in the bushes for, Adam? Hiding from you, Lord. And why are you hiding from me, Adam? Because, Lord, we naked. The Lord did not say to Adam, Adam, you have a psychosis. He, he did not say to Adam, uh, you have a psychiatric problem, son. He didn't say to Adam, you need a little inner healing or counseling. He didn't say to Adam, listen, you have a little chemistry imbalance here. You're a little attached. So I'm going to get you a little sass fast root, mix it with this, make a potion, and give you an antidepressant. Listen carefully to what the Lord said to Adam. Who told you you were naked? Who told you that you were naked? Adam and Eve had thoughts that they had not learned. They had emotions and feelings that they had not been taught. They were flooded with feelings and emotions and thoughts that weren't of God. And they went into a phobic, depressed state and ran and hid. Then when the Lord got them drug out of the bushes, they turned on him and against each other. That's psychotic. So you have psychosis, you have psychotics, you have depression, you have fear, you have guilt, you have shame. All of this came in and just like that. That's how quick it came. Give me circle number one, please. What came in is still here today. It's in this room. Parts of it. It's in every church in the world, parts of it. It's in every city, every nation, parts of it. Fear. They became separated from God. They became separated from their creator. They became separated from their friend who would walk with them in the cool of the evening. Why would you be afraid of someone that was your friend? Accusation. This is separation from God. They had feelings of being unloved. They had conflict. And they had sadness. They were getting all goofed up. In fact, what you see up here coming out of the fall of Adam and Eve is a profile of all psychiatric disease. All of it is here on this page. The foundation for it is all here. And also the foundation for most biological disease. All of it's right here. You may recognize some of these things in your own life. Well, flush it. Get rid of it. Why are you feeding on something that's not good for you? You don't eat bad food. Why do you eat bad spiritual food? Why do you accept things that are not good for you when you don't accept things that are not good for you in the natural? Then why do we accept bad things for us spiritually and psychologically as if it were normal? It's abnormal. Everything you see up here is abnormal to God. Not only did they become separated from God, they became separated from themselves. Begin to have guilt, bitterness, unkindness, and patience, and rebellion. Little accusation in there because, you know, Adam accused his wife and they accused God in the process. And they accused the serpent. Had to have a scapegoat. Rather than, take, rather than take ownership for their problem, there is no indication that Adam and Eve ever repented to the Lord. Not one scripture validates that thought. Thank you.